show of hands, how many of you have gotten a COVID vaccine? These are four healthcare workers from different hospitals in North Carolina. Why not? We don't know what the long-term side effects are. It also hasn't been proven to be effective. The CDC and many public health experts say that it's more than 90% effective. They do say that. <laughs> that hasn't proven to me to be true. I'm not going to just jump on a bandwagon with something that has not been tested. When you say that it hasn't been tested, it has been tested, though. But not to the... If you look at the normal, the normal year span of how long something is tested, it's usually 12 to 14 years before it comes to humans. Across the country, about one in four healthcare workers still isn't vaccinated against COVID. From North Carolina to Texas to New York, anti-mandate protests are mounting. I don't trust it right now. So is the pushback. This is in the category of give me a bleeping break. Uh, when did everyone get a medical degree? For weeks, we've spoken with many overworked healthcare workers who practically begged Americans to get the shot. What do you tell people who just <laughs> don't believe you? It's frustrating. No. Not these. They say they're not anti-vax, more anti-mandate. And I'm not comfortable putting something into my body until I am ready. If and when I'm ready to get the vaccine, I will get it on my own accord. I won't be forced. You just don't trust the CDC. I do not trust the CDC. Absolutely not. And that fuels their skepticism. I have the right to question anybody in this country. I want to question. You're entitled to an opinion, but these are facts. Are they, though? Are they facts? Yeah. Lester, more than 40,000 people participated in the Pfizer clinical trial alone, but those workers are among the many who are not convinced.